Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Kuat Piston Pro X 4x Crack here on our 2020 Hyundai Palisade. Now the Piston is a very high-end bike rack with a lot of premium convenience features. The biggest one being the Pistons, that's where it gets its name. So with the hit of a button, these arms are going to open up with those integrated Pistons to allow you to load up your bikes or get them off a lot easier. The big thing with these is the Kashima coating on the arms themselves. That's going to keep them operating smoothly for a long time. And with a really simple design to adjust these wheel hoops, we can get a variety of different bikes on here with different wheel sizes and be able to adjust it on the fly with no tools. So if we maybe bike with our family pretty often, we've got these set for maybe a kid's bike, but we want to go out with some friends. They've got a larger bike. No worries, you're good to go. You can get it set up and be on your way. These arms ratchet down over top of the wheels, making zero frame contact on our bike. That's gonna make it good for our carbon frame and alternative frame bikes. And it does have a 40 pound weight capacity per bike. So just keep that in mind when you are loading it up. Like many other premium bike racks, premium platform racks that is, it does have the ability to tilt away with bikes loaded to give us hatch access. Up at the front here we have a pedal that we can just pull on and lower the bike rack down. If you've got this fully loaded, be careful because clearly that's going to be pretty hard to reach. Probably want a second person to help you out. And watch your fingers because we are actually touching the ground. This isn't as far as it can actually tilt. Just with where the hitch sits on our palisade, it isn't going to fully clear, so it will make ground contact. But you can see, even so, we still get hatch access. It's very close with these wide handlebars, but this is enough room for us to get back here, change our shoes before or after our ride, or just get something out of the back if we need it without having to fully break everything down. And we can just lift the bike rack back into place. And I will say while I'm doing that, just as an empty bike rack, it's very heavy, 108 pounds. Not to mention when you've got this fully loaded with bikes, that's gonna be a lot of weight. So just be mindful of that and be ready for that weight. To get it unloaded, it's pretty easy. Like we saw before, just push those buttons, open up those arms. I will say with the larger 29 inch wheels here, they don't open up as far as I would maybe like them to. You can extend them out further. And I'll show you that in a second whenever I come back with the bike here. But it is a little bit inconvenient that it doesn't just open up all the way automatically. So if you need to, you can push this out all the way. From here, I'll just push everything back into place to a more stored position and we can get some measurements. We'll start off with our ground clearance. And at the back end here, it does have a slight rise, a slight bit of a stadium design, but nothing super significant, I think. It is still giving us 21 and a half inches of ground clearance though, which I think should be okay. Just watch out for it on those steep driveways and hills. It does add a considerable amount of length to the back of your palisade here, coming in at 46 and a half inches. But when the bikes are unloaded, if we want to leave this in the hitch, we can save a bit of space. We'll just fold it upright using that same pedal as before and taking that measurement again. It's now only going to be sticking out 11 inches, so it's way more condensed. It does also come very close, and I mean very close to the back bumper. We're looking at probably less than an inch of space. It's a little hard to read the tape measure there, but at that closest point, I'd say we've got about half an inch of space. It is a pretty solid bike rack though, although it does kind of tilt out this way a little bit. It doesn't go any further in, so I don't think you'll have to worry about contact with the vehicle. Some things to point out though, because of its size, it is blocking the license plate and your backup camera pretty much completely. So that is something to be aware of. And it does block the lights a little bit here. Luckily it has integrated lights on it. As long as we have four pole wiring on our vehicle, we're all good. 
It comes with the cord to plug into the bike rack and into your full four pole wiring. If you don't have that already, just check out our fit guide on our website to pick up a kit for your vehicle. Down at the bottom, it's got its integrated anti-rattle device. The tool just stores on top and locks up here. And we can use that down here to tighten everything up in the hitch. And then the hitch pin is locking. So that lock is key to like, to this like lock up here. And the lock cores on the tray itself for the cable locks. So everything's under one system. And overall, I think it's a really solid bike rack. It definitely fits on the Palisade well. It doesn't have any clearance issues. It's just gonna be, for me, a bit heavy. Uh, I think getting it in and out of the hitch is gonna be a bit of a pain, and tilting it away on your own especially is gonna be hard. If you're looking for something more lightweight, the Kuat Envy 4 bike rack is a little bit lighter, but if you wanna go really light, the Sarah Super Clamp EX, four bike rack is going to be considerably lighter, almost half the weight of this one. So just take a look at that. Otherwise, that's gonna be our look at the Kuat Piston Pro X four bike rack on our 2020 Hyundai Palisade. Thanks for watching.